I'm back in my studio and I have finished priming, double priming the top and one coat of priming on the back. Now, one thing that you didn't see me do in the first part of this video was thin down the uh, gesso because I had already done it. I started one video and had some background noise and started over and when I did, I already had my gesso um, thin down. But all you have to do is thin it to about the uh, regular liquidy form of, of regular paint. Um, so you're gonna put that on and then the other thing I should have told you was that the reason that you have the extra length and width on your canvas for the hem, but also because the paint causes the canvas to shrink. So you want to make sure that you have measured for um, the actual size you want plus a little bit extra so it'll come out right. Now, when my uh, canvas got dry, then I did iron it. I put a little um, cloth over it and, and ironed it because I wanted to take out as many of the wrinkles as I could before I started painting on this. Then, um, as you can see, I've already started. I started in the middle with a uh, paint, a uh, white paint that I had used some of this Liquitex, which is a glazing medium. And the reason that I use that is I want this to be somewhat transparent. Now, this is not anything that you have to do. I have it on hand, and so I went ahead and did it. Now, um, the other thing is that maybe what you're planning for your floor canvas does not require a background. Then you can skip this. But the a reason I'm doing it is I want it to look sort of like the sky. I'm going to put some flowers on the corners. I'm just going to draw one corner and then I'll duplicate it for, for each of the others. If you have something that does not need a background, then you don't have to do this step. You can go on to the next thing that you want to do. And be sure that when you draw it on, you're using something that you can cover with the paint um, or wipe off. So anyway, we'll keep working on this and and I'll come back when I'm ready to, to actually do my design. So have fun. Bye-bye. Hi, we're back in the studio and I have got my canvas finished. I did not show you uh, the steps of painting the canvas because of course our designs are all different and because I am not a trained artist. I do, I'm not taking classes to learn how to paint and so forth. So you may be a whole lot better at it than I am. But I did go on YouTube and found some videos on how to paint some water lilies because I wasn't um, clear on that and I, I'm not sure I did a great job with it, but it satisfied me. So if you haven't um, gotten to this point yet, you're going to paint your design on the canvas. And if you use the acrylic craft paints like I use, then it won't take very long to dry. If you need to do several steps, you'll be able to do that in a relatively short time. Once you are satisfied with what you have painted, you might consider using a fine tip pen like the ones I have used. Um, to outline your design, it just kind of helps it stand out. A little white, a little black, they always add to your finished product. When that is all done and dried, I actually use um, something like this on the areas where I put the black paint because, or pen because I have had some times when that would smear when I put on the polyurethane. I think that happened more though when I used brush on polyurethane. You can use either. You'll wanna make sure that it dries clear and, and is non-yellowing because I've had a problem with some of my first pro projects turning sort of yellow after a time. Well, I use this. This is a spray and I put a coat on, it dries quite quickly and and I put two coats on. Then I flipped it over and did one coat on the back. Oh, one thing I didn't tell you is 
before I polyurethaned, I put my hem on because like I said, it's harder for your needle to go through the all the um, layers of canvas and paint and polyurethane just adds one more thing. So I polyurethaned it after I put my hem in. Anyway, this is, is finished to my liking and I'm going to use it probably for a table topper. It's small for a, for a floor cloth, but it gives you the idea of how you can do this. I hope you will try it and that you'll have fun and remember relationships are important so invite a friend to do it with you i had to do my large one on the floor because of course it wouldn't fit on this table so find a flat surface and go to it you can do this have a good day hi i'm on my back deck today so i can show you some of the uh, floor cloths that I have made in the past. This was my very first one. And the problem that I had was that when I went over my straight lines, that that was where it bled. But the reason it bled was because the paint had gone under the tape. You want to be really sure that you press it down hard. And here is just a small one that I use on a buffet. Nothing special. This one I use at Valentine's. It's a checkerboard and I use little hearts for the checker and it goes on my front porch. This one here is my largest one and I uh, use it in the fall, again, on the front porch. This one here, hope none of you are getting sick from my moving, um, I use on my upper deck and it goes under a a table up there and in front of a little um, lounge and chairs and then this one is one that I made for Christmas and again I use it on my front porch now you'll notice that my designs aren't always symmetrical and that's because I don't like there to be a top and a bottom anywhere and so or I should say they probably are pretty symmetrical because I don't like a, a top or bottom on them. I like to be able to lay them down any way that I can. Now you already saw the one under the little bistro table, but I'll show it again. It's right here on my back deck. And I'm going to show you some uh, of the process in making it. And then you have seen the one on the front porch at the, or you will, at the end of this video because I was showing the table topper I made, but I wanted to show you the floor cloth that was under the table. I apologize for making this in two parts, but I couldn't load the entire video by itself. So now I'm doing it in two parts. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks. Bye.